Good afternoon, everyone. Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening, canning recipes, a little bit of everything. <clears throat> Not only are we struggling through oppressive heat up to 103 degrees <clears throat> with heat indexes much higher, but now we have that Sahara dust that's blowing in. This is the third year in a row, guys, that that Sahara dust has come through here. Never seen it before, at least. Not that I was aware. Doesn't mean that maybe I wasn't paying attention. But uh, yeah, so the air quality here in uh, the North Texas area is pretty crummy right now. So I wanted to give you a, a garden update on how things are going in this terribly oppressive heat. So let's walk around and see what's going on. We have very high wind today, which we're not minding because it is so hot. But guys, our tomato plants, our tomato vines are just really still surviving and actually seem to be thriving. So we are seeing some leaf curl, but uh, did some pruning, some heavy, heavy pruning to get some airflow. But on down the line, you can see they're doing pretty good. And we're kind of attributing it to, number one, they didn't get wet. Now you can see here, some things that we need to prune off. We didn't get, when we got that nice rain last week uh, with the high winds, of course they were protected in the high tunnel, but we also think that this UV protection on this poly plastic over this high tunnel is really keeping them safe from the sun's rays, which are brutal right now because they're still doing really well Praise the Lord, and I'm so thankful for that. But yeah, you can see on down the line, they are still just loaded. Now I'll tell you, our biggest producers <clears throat> have been the Enrosa variety, and that is a hybrid. And then our Black Creme has been producing, but not like I've seen in years past. So we've got some Cherokee Purples. Um, these are the Enrosas, guys, and they, they're just thriving, they're thriving. So we'll probably do this again. We did plant some big dinas and those are right there in the middle and you can see they're not nearly as big as the enrosas on down the line down there. Um, they do put out some, some good looking tomatoes but not like these enrosas. So these are a good variety so far for this dreaded Texas heat. You can see my peppers back there are looking much, much better. We've had a really rough go with peppers this year, um, but they seem to be rebounding and you know, peppers love heat. So I think that uh, they're gonna start coming up and um, Greg is doing the regenerative farming practice. So he is uh, feeding them once a week to keep these things going. But my goodness, at times in this high tunnel guys, it's 120 degrees. And uh, just look, look at these plants. Our cucumber plants have also started going crazy in here. And you can see here all the way down, I got some uh, market moors and I've got some uh, Chicago pickling cause I'll be pickling. And I'm sure there's quite a few already in there that we need to start um, pulling out and uh, canning up. But they seem to be doing well. And again, we really believe it's because this UV plastic on this tunnel is protecting from the sun, sun's rays. And uh, we make it a point, guys, not to water the foliage on tomatoes. That will give you diseases. You want to do a drip tape, which is what we're using. And Greg is uh, watering every day. We have to water every day with the drip tape. And uh, he seems to be doing pretty good with his schedule. So we have squash plants that are in here. They seem to be doing okay. Um, yesterday, they got a little hot, you can see, but uh, they did bounce back. He's got the water next to him. And then of course, we have gone through and cleaned out and gotten the soil prepared to put some okra in. Now okra will grow this time of year in the Texas heat, and that's why we're gonna go ahead and grow some okra. Another thing that uh, you might can grow in this heat are the, the dragon's tongue beans. 
Those seem to be heat tolerant. And believe it or not, guys, um, next month, I'll be starting our fall seeds to plant um, toward the end of August and get ready for our fall gardening in here, which is gonna be much of our greens and um, our broccolis and our cauliflowers and our cabbages. So you wanna make sure and start looking up your seeds and looking for your seeds for your fall garden. Ooh, I got some nice size zucchinis in there. So thank you all for watching us. Thank you um, to my subscribers and for all of you, be sure and hit that like button. It helps get the channel out there. Um, I'm not getting the traction I would like, so please just share the videos and uh, give us a thumbs up and give us a comment on what's going on in your garden and uh, keep in touch. We love each and every one of you. Take care, God bless, and I'll be updating you again soon. See ya.